What up, what up, wheat field, what up, y'all's wheat, what it do? Welcome back to wheat field, y'all. Welcome to you if you knew. Hey, welcome to you too. This is your girl La T here at Tears and Wheat Tarot Show where you show sure enough, never know what you're gonna get, beloved. You just never know. I'm so excited to bring this episode. It's gonna be down a rabbit hole, so please bear with me as we try to work out these concepts that the most high God gave me. Today, we've been like on a road of discovery, I guess would be the best way of describing it, is to kind of have a more intimate relationship with our source, the most high God, the Alpha and Omega. And I kind of got into some uh, physics, right? And it was like, I saw something that talked about the alpha particle. And this is like in subatomic particles, you know, physics, quantum physics, things of that nature. And it was talking about the alpha particle. And getting down into so it was like, well, if there's an alpha particle, I wonder is there an omega particle? And there it is. Ha! Right. And it says Omega hyperon, so H Y P E R O N, so we call it hyperon or something like that. And it says it decays um, super fast, like with a weak connection or a weak bond between the two. So the alpha and omega, o, alpha particle and omega particle are connected to each other by an equal and opposite force. And we thought about that. I was like, well, that makes sense because we've learned that the alpha oscillates one way and the omega oscillates in a different way. And they put out this force of energy, like a frequency, right? And it is equal and opposite in nature, but it collides at a certain point. And that point we've been, we've learned that it's like an equilibrium point right and where that force meets is like a collision of energy and there's an explosion of all of these um particles i guess is the way to explain it like the alpha and omega particles collide and when they collide they create other types of particles and these particles can be uh, described as like uh, um, elemental particles and sub-elemental particles. And depending on how they break apart or how they collide and recombinate. So all of that to say is that these particle collisions create like there's an electron or a photon um, but there's also an anti-electron and an anti-photon. So an electron would be a positive, right? In one way, like existing in matter. And then there is, oh, I don't think we wrote it down. Um, what is the name of it? Positron, boom. Thank the most high God. Yes, I was able to see it. A positron. And a positron does not exist in matter. It's like weird. And so how they were able to show that is that in certain cases where they are able to observe, there's pieces of matter that pop in and out of existence from matter to non-matter. And it was like, oh, wow, so that's kind of nice because it talks, led us down the rabbit hole of anti-matter. Matter in a traditional sense versus anti-matter or non-matter, right? And then it gave us the rabbit hole topic of everything in the observable universe exists as matter, right? It has, it's, it has mass, There's, it's matter. But then there's also antimatter or non-matter. And it gave us, well, there has to be 
an anti-verse along with the universe or the verse, right? That visible universe that we can see. There has to be an anti-verse that's like full of non-matter. So like if you have particles that pop in and out of existence, there are some that you, you can say it exists because you can observe it, but there's something there that you cannot observe. You can't sense sense it is tangibility i'm getting um that would exist in a whole nother verse like an anti-verse and then i was like okay well up to us it made sense like aha uh -huh, you know omniverse not a universe like a verse where we can see all of us exist as matter and we can observe it in its various different forms and then there's a, a verse that you cannot observe in any of its forms like you know the other side of things so if, again if there's an electron then and there's a positron that electron which exists as matter there's another component one that does not exist as matter brought us to us in terms of you know everything that we can conceive as matter us you know stars planets all the way down to these elemental particles these the basic minutia that we can get down to even test and po posticulate or postulate posticulate we made up a whole nother word but whatever we can postulate right it exists in this realm therefore it has to the opposite of it has to exist in the other realm and i'm not saying opposite that everything on one side is all good and the other thing on the other side is all bad i'm just saying that whatever exists here in the matter also exists as non-matter it's a whole nother realm so for me it just gave like the validity and the like stamp on the whole omniverse conversation where there's an antiverse and a verse yeah like opposites and we took notes on all of that and that's what we got it was kind of like immortal manifesto not just the book that our daughter wrote but the manifesto on the immortal like that which is everlasting um that which created all things that exist but also does not exist right it's like um it's not tangible but yet it is tangible it's like the other side of things like your spirit your soul right you are tangible but your soul exists and is not tangible it's immortal it's outside of existence itself beloved life and career just got picked up something with real passion but it could um just be the fact that we called to get some cards like the most high god to speak the alpha and omega we see roll the dice here, ups and downs. That's definitely <laughs> uh, opposites, right? Ups and downs. Um, it says, time to put yourself out there. You are hiding your talents. It is time for you to take a risk and step into the spotlight now. Um, somebody is being called into the spotlight, probably because you think differently and you do things differently. And there's definitely a niche for you there, We. Somebody that does, you know, I'm hearing philosophy, like you think about things in a certain kind of way, like trying to understand the mysteries of life. And that's what we were doing. You know what I mean? Like trying to understand the mystery of the source of us. We like to have a deeper, more intimate relationship with the most high God, beloved, is to understand its intricacies and to understand those intricate mysteries we can do that by looking within, looking at the vessel, the body, right? And we know we can break us down all the way to atoms and to elements, atoms to protons, to neutrons, to electrons, like the nuclei of the atom, and then going dip deeper into those particles to see what they're made of, right? And that's how I got into quantum physics and uh, subatomic particles, elemental particles, pre-elemental particles, prions, down to the boson theory or the God particle, as they call the particle, which gives everything mass, right? And in order for it to um, 
like light. You know, it does not interact with the bosine particle um, as heavily as other particles do. So therefore, it doesn't have a heavy mass, right? But other particles do interact heavily. So they have a heavier mass. They can condense and take form, form matter, right? So it's, it was just like really interesting in how everything kind of came together, all leading all the way down the rabbit hole to matter versus antimatter. And then the kind of connection to spirit versus spirit that which exists that which doesn't exist and that which does exist because it's like the connection to out of no thing out of nothing comes everything right and I think that that's freaking phenomenal but <laughs> it doesn't explain like where does the source come from or what is still at you know, beneath even the smallest thing that we can attempt to conceive, test, think of, um, ponder on, we, again, I'm hearing postulate. It's something with the word postulate. So somebody is also a very deep thinker. But it's like, okay, this incredible phenomenon, this, I'm feeling like these emotions, oh, and that was something else that they kind of gave us, which was funny. Because we drew this picture here, right here. And it was like they drew an oscillating force here and then an oscillating force in the other direction, which creates all of this energy. And, you know, so like it meets at a central point and all of these particles shoot out from the collision. And what's so funny is when we were doing our research and kind of going down the rabbit hole, learning and biting and jumping, we ran into a diagram of something called the, again, the God particle. And in the model that they used, like to show this machine that they built CERN, right? But, um, how it works and how the energy flows through and collide and then all these particles shoot out was exactly how the spirit had drew it and it was like wow that's 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 yeah that's eye-opening <laughs> the spirit say i open <laughs> but it was again like that whole thing so thank you guys so much for sitting through that and I know it's relative to the message because we're talking about matter versus anti-matter and even down to the things that matter I mean it's not like anti-matter doesn't matter but it's like what do you focus on will be what you focus on will be so another phenomenon of like subatomic particles or uh yeah subatomic particles again those that can appear as a frequency, a wavelength, or a particle week. So it could either be frequency, which is something that you really can't see popping out of existence, or coming into a particle, which is something that you can, is in existence. Like you can, I guess, observable, right? I mean, in some aspect. I'm not for sure if that's coming out right, but you get what I'm going after. So... Based on how you see something, the observer perspective, you create what it is that it's going to be. Like if I observe it to be a frequency, then that's what it's going to be. But if I observe it to be a particle, then that's what I'm going to see. So how we view our world and the world around us dictates what we experience in this world, I say. Right, we can consider ourselves again with um, like making heaven or making hell, and I'm feeling like that bond, like how it was saying that things start to decay and deteriorate based on the strength of the bond. And we started going down this rabbit hole to strengthen our bond, our relationship with that which created us. And so, I feel like as long as we continue to create stronger bonds um, with the source of us, however you connect to it, that it will be that much easier to see life renewed, right? Again, because if decay happens because of a weakened bond, then strength 
and renewal and rebirth and resurrection occurs because there is a strong bond. Like things will continue being immortal, the manifest of the immortal is what I'm getting at. And considering that all of these interactions are happening, things colliding, right? And creating possibilities and potentialities for things to condense and mold and bind and bind. And it creates the variety of creation itself, like the very tapestry of it. And it to me, it just speaks to um, how we can operate as a collective. We like on the macrocosm of things by seeing the micro, the within. It helps us to understand self better. And I guess with that, you know, we kind of get closer to the source of us when you understand, you know, self better, self mastery. And out of all of that, you know, it, it really made me think about what matters and what doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Kind of like, what are you focusing on? What are you putting your focus on? How are you seeing things? Because we're creating and experiencing, you know, this reality based on how we choose to see it. And oftentimes when we see lack and we connect with scarcity and insecurity and bitterness and unforgiveness, all these low vibrational mo um, emotions and frequencies, we tend to create the, that very reality, right? We create more bitterness, more sadness, more anger and frustration and lack and scarcity, right? But if we choose to see the abundance of potentiality, how I feel like the resources are so abundant and it, it feels like infinite, like infinity, that we can create anything. We are literally able to study self, study creation in such a way to get down to like the thing that gives everything mass, everything substance, everything weight. And, and helping us create a, a, a density, a collective. And I think that's great. Now for everything created, people can use it for, for positive or negative. It could be, you know, those opposites exist. But I think the knowledge that we gain out of all of it is priceless. We see something as long-term, an opportunity could turn into a long-term career move, or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money. So more abundance is coming. And I definitely feel the two rings, you know what I mean? Something that's long-lasting, something that um, will be fruitful, something that... Uh, I'm hearing like the resources are going to be abundant. The potentiality, the possibility is going to be major, beloved. This could definitely be within work. It could be partnership with another person. But I am seeing it's going to be a good long-term career move. We see somebody experiencing some sort of drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. But I definitely feel beware of troublemakers in the workplace. And um, like we were just kind of saying, like anybody could use anything for a negative. It's going to be a positive or a negative. And somebody may be experiencing that negative thing. But again, think about what matters, right? And what part you're going to focus on. Do you focus on what you can learn from the situation? Because if you focus on what you could learn, looking at the details, like getting into the nitty gritty of it, like the source of it, even what the potentiality of the situation was being brought out of it, was being born, it could put, definitely be this long-term opportunity. Thank you to the Most High God for bringing this message. Somebody could change careers, right? You could have a talent or a niche in something and 
you may be getting an opportunity to go do it. We see Max C. See, look, progress. Progress. You're making progress. Uh, despite the drama, something could be a surprise because we're getting tapped on surprise here in magic. We were saying that somebody may have a gift. You could be changing careers because of a gift. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want in life. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. A gift is being given. You could be attracting this gift. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work in a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. This long-term long opportunity, and it's coming out of some sort of drama. So that's what, again, bringing things full a circle. All the energy and all the forces in your life, things that happen causing these, you know, events or... Um, that's the best I can get is like events, all these pieces to collide and smash, but it's creating new opportunity. And I'm feeling like all of that energy and collision is like the drama. Like it could be attitudes colliding. It could be viewpoints. It could be position, how people buy for power and competition, all of that drama, right? Because it's definitely a drama maker, right? But it's leading to a long-term opportunity, something that is going to get created, something that sparked. Not only did it spark something in you as you had to learn through this drama and take in the lessons, what is it doing for you and to you, right? Um, you can get more money and it's, it's creating that magic. You're attracting it, I think, by how you're handling everything. We see education. See, somebody, again, education is something about learning, like you taking an extra mile. Something is going to end and you're going to get an offering, like an ending and a beginning. Investment is here, give and take. So I do see a lot of like that opposite, give and take. But investment could be time spent to learn something, right? To really put the work in. You may need to take a class or do research. We've been talking about research. And do research to find a better position. So if you are a person that's really into postulating you know, the posticulars, <laughs> I'm just saying we, but somebody who's into thinking deeply, who's into testing theory, who's into looking at the minutia, the micro, the micro to understand the macro, how to go further, how to um, change thought processes, how to innovate, how to take it to another level, I say, something's going to end because of the drama and the learning and the education you've got from it is going to develop this long-term opportunity. Your magic, your light, your ability to alchemize um, information in particles, pieces of uh, energy, currency right you can bring in the darkness and transmute it to light and emit it like i feel like to attract it to even give it weight you know put some mass put some stank on it i don't know why i got that but i got that right you know what i mean it's something about your magic that you attract what you want into your life again like magnets and thinking about electromagnetism and all of that there's going to be an ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. And that's what we were saying. Somebody is going to change careers entirely, beloved, like a whole new route. And it could come from something that you just have a hobby for, a niche for, a gift in that area. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work in a better position, getting more money with it as well. You will be offered a new position or an investment opportunity. And we saw investment. We see people, skills, and money matters. It says... Um, you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before you accept it. Yeah, money matters again. See, money matters to you a lot. 
watch your expenses and save up for the future you may have an ending something like somebody may get terminated but you will get a new offer it's a gift you are attracting it you learn what you needed to learn to put you in position for this um gift but this opportunity um but it could this long-term opportunity but it could come or be for some reason, I'm seeing a word predated, you know, with a loss. Like, there's going to be a loss, a storm, and then it's going to take you into this long-term opportunity, this offering. Anything else in here? Spirit say, no, courage. Have courage now. Courage to do something that you wouldn't normally do. You want this? You want this one? Courage to use a gift of something that has been put inside of you your magic the sky is the limit it's all about how you see it beloved um i'm i'm hearing that again do you see a wave or do you see a particle like how do you see it do you see it as a blessing or a curse? Do you see it um, as an ending or a beginning? Like, is it taking or is it giving, right? You know, is the universe giving you an opportunity or did it take one from you? With? How do you see it? We see wounded warrior. Maybe you've been through a lot. Maybe you have a lot of skills, right? But there's one that really lights you up, something that you're really good at, and you may not be doing it in your work. Freedom, see? Freedom to do what really lights you up. That's what we just got. You need to have more flexibility in your schedule and in your income. Being self-employed is ideal, right? I'm feeling you standing here, but you're alone. You're carrying this torch forward. You're doing something to move it forward it could be a heavy lift right because the tennis um wise is next but i feel like as a novice needing to learn education even the page right um it's good news in that you will be carrying some good news um bringing something forward i'm getting and as you mature in confidence and assertiveness then you will definitely become a strong leader in whatever this is. Working yourself all the way up to the king of wands. Yes, that's what I'm getting. A strong, assertive leader ready to take action, right? Have confidence and courage knowing that this is an opportunity, not just an ending. This one. Look, success recognition whoa it's a lot of energy here partnership four of wands this partnership this long-term opportunity this partnership two rings is going to be successful see the past is something nostalgic about it but i feel like the past has prepared you you've learned a lot growing up and your skill set learning and even learning from the past drama right that's what i'm getting it's six of cups so it could be memories nostalgia it could be something um that you're emotionally attached to so again those emotions how do you see things when you look back at it how do you see it do you see it as a good thing do you see it as a terrible ending is it a wave or is it a particle week how do you see it you know i'm feeling like based on how you see it it determines a lot on what you learn and take from it that uh, opportunity is going to come to so that to allow you to use your gifts I'm hearing a lot like, yes, the money comes with it. Yes, it's long-term, beloved. You know what I mean? Like, you may be, you know, nervous about something else being short-term. See, somebody is getting ready to move forward. The spirit is going to move you forward to a whole new cycle, to a whole new door. 
you are getting ready to move forward. It's your destiny. Man, look, and it's giving, give and take, giving and receiving. But how do you see it? Betrayal. Do you see it as a harsh ending? Do you see it as an opportunity to begin again? Like, what did you learn from it? Moving from the Ten of Swords to the Page of Swords. What did you learn? What was the truth? Are you able to sit in a student place and get the lesson from what you feel has happened to you? What did you experience this event, right? Illusion. Look, look, look what's right up underneath the mold. It's something that you don't see, but to deal with the subconscious, the unconscious, what's beneath the other side of things. See, for me right now, this is giving me non-matter and matter, like the below area where things are like the opposite, right? Because again, if an electron is positive, then a positron would be the negative. It would be the other side of things. And that's what I'm getting. Like, you know... I hope that makes sense. But we definitely see this learning and education, giving it the chance, putting the work in, understanding that uh, with this ending, there's going to be a new offering and you're going to use some sort of knowledge. Putting yourself in student position is going to lead you to this Ten of Pentacles. It is your destiny. We see Queen of Cups. We also see Ten of Cups right? Ultimate happiness. But emotions dictate how you see it, beloved. It's an ending here. It is. Yeah. Look, page of wands is here. Three of wands, a vision, foresight, being a novice, some sort of um, inspiration, learning to um, wield this wand. I'm feeling practice, 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 illumination, happiness, fullness and i'm seeing the blossom like fully open and all of this power i'm seeing the downloads from the spirit a lot of inspiration is coming um i'm feeling ultimate happiness like a blessing like a gift from the most high god beloved ten of pentacles legacy ultimate happiness ten of cups your destiny but look, we see seven of swords, lies, and deceit. That's some drama. It's a troublemaker somewhere around you. But focus on what matters, right? It's all about how you see it, what matters. Take courage. Ask what you are afraid of so you can overcome what's holding you back now. I'm trying to see. Yeah, look what else fell out. We got, look, this is the Pope to World card that was down here. We see protect yourself battles from some sort of drama, some sort of troublemaker. And look, somebody doing shit behind your back. Page of Cups, lovers, partnership, head over heart, decision, being emotionally invested in a past position or something like that. It says, ask what you are afraid of so you can overcome what's holding you back now. There are leadership opportunities for the taking. And that's what we were saying, that somebody's going to develop from that nine, that wounded warrior. Ten, having a struggle to push forward and persevere, stay focused on the work, on what's right in front of you. And I'm feeling that page of wines. I feel like somebody who is really learning and understanding that, you know, becoming inspired and practicing this skill to gaining confidence and assuredness and then being ready to take leadership, having courage to move forward with leadership. Three of Cups. It's, I hear like a group or a community, right? Um, of like-minded people and individuals you will be moving towards. That's true. Clarity. You guys all have like the same mindset, right? Again, we look, there's the king of wands, right? We see the knight and we see the king. And we did skip over the knight energy because we talked about the page, the queen and the king. So it's definitely something about this knight, you know, being in a, I'm hearing like a state where you're not like fully mature, right? Like maybe even if you have started learning something and practicing something, your your gift, your magic, starting to wield your wand, beloved, I'm feeling like you definitely will grow to a place where um, 
you are starting to get the, the ground beneath your feet. Like you've got a good understanding, starting to get a grip on things, not necessarily all the way confident in the short. And then you could get this offering while you're in this night phase. Like, kind of like almost feeling adolescent. Like, you know how they say experience. So, like, a page would be that zero to three or zero to five years. You could be somewhere five to 10 years experience because you know that 10 years to 20 years is like the queen, like you got it, like the prime, whatever. And then the king, anything over 20 years, 20. 30 years in a game, like you OG, triple O, triple OG trip with it, right? So I feel like you could be, in terms of experience, you could be somewhere between maybe having three or maybe five years of experience at this point. But still somebody that's like, you know, you ain't junior level with it. You ain't, you know, entry level with it. But you may get the opportunity. It just may not feel like you're all the way ready, right? Like maybe the opportunity is bigger than you. Yeah, it could make you feel a certain kind of way, right? Don't miss out on the opportunity, right? Thinking about, you know, what you don't have or what has been lost in the past or this past situation or whatever the case may be. See, see things differently. How are you going to see it? It's definitely an opportunity for you to grow, to become enlightened, to have a deeper understanding, to get to like professional level mastery with it. See it as a new beginning instead of a harsh ending. Yes, that's what I'm getting. Anything else in here, spirit? Yeah, Empress. See, you're going to birth something amazing right? It's like gestation too, right? When you first find out you're pregnant, that shit could be a shock. Like, damn, I just lost something. Like, whether it's, you know, singlehood, like a single person, an entity that's not really responsible for another being, right? You could, so if it, in terms of business, right, you could have lost a safety spot or something that you were used to just only thinking about self to growing, you know, and baby stepping into something bigger, like an enterprise or a business where it will, you know, be responsible for others. Like what you bring in will feed others is what I'm getting. We're going to get some angel numbers. I hope y'all still with me 37, 11, when we said that we 10, 11. So I definitely feel one, 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 right? We can see three, and we kept talking about self-mastery a lot. So Master 33 could show up or 333, which has been big. 711 has also been big. So 7777 or 111 is on what I'm feeling. So let's see what the spirit has to say. Because somebody definitely has an opportunity coming. It could be preceded by some sort of loss, but it's all about how you see it and your emotional attachments to it. Whether, you know, how much does it matter to you? Does it matter or does it not matter? Like it's something else out there for you. Like the most high guy is not going to close the door without opening another one. It is moving you through this portal to something greater. And I'm feeling it has purpose. Again, something innovative, something where you will be leading some sort of industry forward. We got something. See, two, three, two, three, breaking down to five, 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 five is 10. We call it out the number 10, endless cycles. We see your magic that was, we talked about charisma, communication, society, movement, a journey, right? You could have the, could have the, you could be or could have been experiencing some repetitive patterns and circumstances is a truth that you're resistant to accept. Something that you go through over and over again until you're tired and restrained beyond depression. We saw that five of cuts. Um, spirit. Let's see Readjustment, yeah. Readjusting your heart posture and how you see things. Um, it says something that you're resistant to accept. You're tired 
and it takes a decision um, with passion, like to follow your passion, I think, to make a change, to see things differently. And the world will follow you, We, Yeah, definitely doing something very innovative. I hear groundbreaking, overcoming obstacles, overcoming this drama person, this troublemaker, you know, your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right, Queen of Cups. Balance your energy, pour into the things that matter, pour into self, self-investment, self-education, you know, all of it. Taking care of self first, beloved, because there's something on the horizon. It's the possibility of a begin, a beginning, a new partnership. This says romantic or platonic. It definitely is platonic because I feel a partnership in career. We see 333 three, three support. We call this out. And look, we said sevens is big, 11 is big, 17, 17, right? That's that same energy. Drama alert, we, boom, drama alert. There's a troublemaker on the scene, but you're going to learn from this person. This person is a teacher for you. This whole situation is setting you up to be freed and so that you can move on and move up is what I'm getting. Independence soul mission, a long time, learning, healing, and aspirations. Can't make it up. I know it took us a minute to get there because, you know, we had to give y'all what the spirit gave us in terms of, you know, how do we see life and that deeper relationship to the source of us, like learning and just kind of, kind of always contemplating and thinking. 333 three, three, support is here. It says, saying the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward, work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Thank you to the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega, for leaving this message. Nothing is on to me. I'm just a willing surrender vessel to do as you tell me, to follow your guide. Thank you, beloved, for I am your wheat. Use me. It says, um, focus inward, work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of confidence, competency. Like you feeling like you are not, you haven't reached that level of competency, competency or, or mastery or professional mastery. It's something about you feeling like you need to grow your skill up, right? It says... It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community, your community. See, you definitely are going to come to community with others, three of cups, up like-minded individuals. Again, this could be a whole professional community, right, that you will lend your expertise in. And you may not feel like you're ready, right? You don't feel like you've, you know, developed enough or have enough skill and mastery, right? It still is something very hesitant and resistant. But this drama alert that's coming in is leading you to a place of independence. Um, be open. I'm seeing allowing. Look at this. Call this out too. 10, 11. We said 37, 11. We said 10, 11. Then we said 1, 1, 1. Thank you to the Most High God. Hope. New beginning. A fresh start. Change of lifestyle. We see purpose, spiritual awakening. This is a call to action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. So if you already had this drama alert, something already happened with the job, if that's the case may be, this could be for you. Either. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Don't stop. Like, continue to go forward. Continue to learn. Continue to put the time in hustle, grind, all of that. Look, three, 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 three. Social skills, you know, hope, optimism, liberation, success. You want something out of here? Excitement, enthusiasm, prosperity. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to bring you courage for you to maintain a positive outlook. How do you see it? Positive 
outlook we you could be in a ten of swords seven of swords five of swords energy with all this shit happening do you see it as a harsh ending or do you see it as freedom as an opportunity to begin again like beautiful freedom and an amazing opportunity to begin again to rise again it's something about that how do you see it is it a wave or is it a particle what do you observe because how you observe it and how you feel it is how you will experience it. The void. Being in the void. Longing. Longing, technology, ambition, genius, forward thinking. But see, we also see stress and depression, right? But I definitely feel somebody that has some forward thinking. Like very innovative, right? Social skills. A problem, the problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. An offer after this ending is going to be a long-term opportunity where you can use your talent, skills, and ability, your gifts, beloved, and your magic, the magic of self, your vibration, your energy, your frequency is attracting it. So stay positive. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Hold on to your grace. Right? We are humble unto the most high God, beloved. That's why y'all always hear me say it ain't on to me. It's not on to me. Everything that I get is on to the most high God, beloved. So whether it is, you know, the inspiration, the downloads, the skills, the calling, everything that's in a decree, everything that I experience on a daily, everything, every tangible thing, everything, whether it's tangible, spiritual, exists, matter, non-matter, all of it belongs onto the source, beloved. Nothing is on to us. And I feel like once you you get this opportunity. You're being called to take swift action. We're we looking at the eternal, the eternal. 808. Yeah. I feel an eternal on both sides of things, spiritual and physical, right? So the spiritual is going to happen in the spirit. It's going to happen in the physical. Like, but the eternal exists here and here. So not only is it existing in the spiritual, but it definitely exists in the spiritual. Like everything, both sides of things, like both sides of things. I'm getting omniverse energy <laughs> and eternal here and an eternal here. So if I'm seeing this eight as an infinity loop and an infinity loop, it's like infinity times infinity or something like that I'm getting. Infinity magnified by infinity because both exist, each in opposite, right? So hopefully you guys can stick with that, like get the concept that I'm getting. It says wealth, empathy, promises, commitment, affection, inner strength, and auspicious outcomes. You will enter a time of expansion, so begin taking steps towards achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Finances will miraculously improve. And oh, somebody has their mind set on you. So as we were getting infinity times infinity, like again, that could be soulmate or destined match energy or some sort of destined partnership, right? Where if you are whole and you are complete, you're being magnified by another person who is whole and who is complete. Like that. I'm getting like your soul match, like your opposite. Just like as an electron is created, a positron is created. And not again, that neither one of them are just positive or negative. It is just like it is its opposite. It was made in duality. It was made in two. It's a pairing. It's not one, but it's two. Just like it's an alpha, there's an omega. It's not just the omega, which is one, which is a lot of, you know, go with it and understand if you click off but this y'all my my returning weed y'all know what it is we always say it's omega that the the ending and the alpha the beginning is not one and we are in the middle like where the two meet that is you know i feel creation disseminating and going forth and developing and it is just again everything 
I don't know if that's a good way of saying it, but that's what I'm getting, what I feel, right? They come, they made everything called and decreed, and it is all of us. We are it. We are creation. We are the only begotten. We, and I feel like it, everything is made kind of like in that sense, and it's held together by the thing that gives everything mass, beloved, whether... Um, it be an electron, whether it's hydrogen, whether it is, you know, because hydrogen has an opposite too. I don't know if they call it anti-hydrogen or something like that, anti-hydrogen or something like that. But it's always two. It's the duality. It's in everything. It's the opposites. It's the ups and the downs. Because even when you look at subatomic particles, and this, this could sound a little nerdy, but um, when you look at subatomic particles and you start getting down to what they call quarks, right? Quarks have an opposite, right? They have, I want to make sure I'm, I'm saying it right, but um, damn it. Please, thank you to the Most High God for bringing it back as you explained it. We were talking about the, oh, the types of quarks. We got it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I think it's like, it's either six or eight, right? But it's an up and a down, right? A up and a down, so the opposite. They have a, 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 a up and a down. They have a, did we write it? I don't think we did. We did it. Nope. Oh. So I can get, we did write like the act, the letters for some of them, but these two, I can't remember really exactly what this B one is for, but it's an up and down, a strange and a charm. I just think if somebody's strange or whether they charming, whether you have an a, a up positive or upbeat or whether you down low, you positive charge, negative charge. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. And then there's one that starts with a B. I can't remember what it is. And the other one is a T. Right, so it's definitely representing the whole system of op opposites, opposite charges, right, or opposite nature, opposition. Again, matter versus non-matter, right, um, positive versus negative, up versus down, um, the beginning versus the ending, yeah, <laughs> opposites. But it's up to you how you see it. It's up to you. Because someone definitely is watching over you. Look at that. Someone's watching over you. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, you are. Things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. Right? We see someone watching over you. Good fortune and unseen forces. See, that's kind of like what we're talking about, those unseen forces. And how do we attempt to understand it? And for me, science is one of those things, right? An offering and an ending. The alpha offers all things, right? And, and everything that can be offered in every variety and potentiality, there is, you know, we get to... I'm here on free will, we get to choose. But um, everything is here and we are a part of all of it, right? There's an ending, right? And we loop back around and then be loop to begin again. Like nothing is ever in vain, nothing is ever wasted. So your time in this space could come to an ending because of somebody being a troublemaker. But there's also a new offering that is going to come again We and I just feel like that's something for you to think about. It's like all about, do you see it? Do you see the offering? Do you see the beginning? Can you get the lessons and the learning and continue to grow your knowledge, your skills, your ability to alchemize, to take on all of these experiences and to go forward, like steadfast, to make, continue to make progress and take the steps to progress. Can you see it as an opportunity? We see lucky shirt, 
love, peace, hope, and optimism, transferring responsibility to others, progress, creativity. So don't transfer the responsibility to others. You don't have to take on the responsibility of others, but just make sure you own your own shit. And again, the number three is big, three, three. Right, so we've seen three, three. And look, at there's an evolution here because there's a three, three, three. Right, three, 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 three. And then at the end, there's three, 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 three. Definitely leading all the way up to this liberation, this excitement and enthusiasm, success and prosperity, right? Pursue your goals and get what you want. This is an opportunity, this loss. Instead of it looking at it as a loss, an ending, a betrayal, look at it as an offering, an offering for you to pursue your goals and get what you really want. It will provide you wonderful benefits and the people that you hold dear will benefit too. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals, this new tribe at the end of the day. And we saw... It says freedom, and there's something about your magic. Yes, you have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky's the limit. And you definitely need those communication skills as you negotiate, as you talk about whatever it is, how you want to innovate, how you can see it developing. Maybe that's going to be a part of the key. I'm seeing confidence is key. Reflection, 666. Definitely feeling opposites or reflecting or looking at the other side of it. We see several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. Queen of Cups energy, how do you feel? We also see 10, 10, 11, and 888 karma. Those have been big numbers here. But it says several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. Reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, looking higher, looking bigger. And you can see bigger by discovering what's in, with, with the within, right? Because again, that microcosm environment, what's really going on? You need a mental shift towards greater optimism. Yo, confidence in self, I'm getting. Your soul, the source of us living. It talks about self-assurance and trust. Put your faith in your gut. See, your gut. <laughs> Spirit said in self. Your, the source of living. I'm, I'm seeing sacral chakra. The place where your creativity lies. Like everything is born out of that kingdom space. Yes. Thank you, Ashane. Put your faith in your gut and your inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Not just a better person, but self-mastery. Mastering self. Growing and learning to become your highest self. How do you become your highest self? Your highest version of you. Anything else? Nope. That's it. That's all we have for you. 5727, when we said it, we thank you guys so much. It's still a series of three because 57, 27, 5 and 7 is 12, which breaks down to 3. 2 and 7 is 9, which breaks down to 3, 3, 3. 3, 3, 3 is over here. Support, growth, creativity, joy, community three of cups i'm getting vision and talents seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward work on your skills discover your talents and use your imagination aka use your magic i'm getting unleash your inner artist doing so will boost your self-esteem self-esteem confidence all right beloved and a sense of competence competency i can do this i'm you know what i'm saying i'm good we've been at this for a minute but i'm getting who does it does wonders for your sense of purpose which is always up to the alpha who called and the omega who decrees it to be and it contributes to your overall community aka creation week at just to show it one more last time three 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 and I am getting that somebody could be born in the third month, the sixth month. Their birthday could be on the third of the month. 
and somebody could also be um, 33. Yeah, the number nine could also be significant to you. So take it whichever way it resonates. We thank you. We do. We thank you so much, beloved, for sticking in and hanging out. If you made it through, hashtag made it through. We didn't know what you was getting ready to bring, YT, with all that physics and quantum and particles and how you see it in non-matter versus matter and omniverse, but hopefully... By the end of all things, it came together well for you. Yes, that the message that the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega brought was edifying. Edifying onto your spirit, beloved. Yes, because we got yokes on our shoulder and we need to bear them, right? We are the generation of, I'm here, curse breakers, movers and shakers, they innovators to take us to, I mean, creators, I'm hearing co-creators of the new earth, new earth energy, and how we see things, how we observe things, being in a watcher position is, look, all of that shuffling, wounded warriors and warriors, and I'm hearing peace warriors, stand your position, hold your ground, beloved, continue to press forward to stand, right, learn from the past, giving and receiving, what you put out will come back in, and we see a partnership, after an ending, right? Deal with what's below the scene, what's seen and unseen, because it's definitely a door opening. But again, it's all about your point of view, your POV. You know, don't get discouraged by the delay. Keep learning, keep growing, you know, discovering, posticulating. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what I heard, you know, postulate, ponder, right? Look deeper. Look deeper within itself. Look deeper into the situation. You know, discover how it will work towards your good, beloved timing. Because everything happens in divine timing. You may just need to be flexible, we Flexible timing. We see illumination. You will see. And we got this card very early. Rolling the dice. Taking a risk. Taking a chance, beloved. Right? time to put yourself out there. You're hiding your talents. It is time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now. And it says somebody is definitely going to be moving on up. Yeah. Gesture. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give well-deserved praise to others and you will receive recognition too. What you put out, you will get back. If you are recognizing others and being in that good heart posture of giving, then you're definitely going to be receiving. It's going to come back in. It has no choice. It's the law of attraction. Empress energy. It's going to be in before it comes out. It got to grow on the inside. And develop and mature is going to pop out. But babies are not full grown. They've come to a place where they can survive on it. Well, not yet. Yeah, they got to feed them and stuff. But, you know, they can breathe. You know, they can ask for what they need. They can communicate and they just continue to get better at it, I say. And there's usually a community of people to support and nourish them to a point of maturity. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Don't feel no kind of way about it. Like, attached to the past, confused, you know. I'm hearing let the spirit make the choice for you or help you make the choice. Because there's definitely some confusion, emotions, trying to figure out what to do, how to handle a situation. See, I feel like the spirit is going to cut the ties. It's going to require you to be flexible, though. That's definitely it. That's all we got, beloved. We thank you so much for joining us here on the Tears and Weeks World Show. We show sure enough, never know what you're going to get. It's just us bringing a message, and hopefully you got it and you resonated with it. We love you so much. We do. We do. We love you, 103.33. Um, couldn't even get that out. But um, we love you so much. We do. Just like you were our first ones and twos. You know what I'm saying? And we uh, appreciate each and every one of you. All of your comments. We try to respond to everybody. We thank you for your energy. All of your thumbs up. 
We, for all the new subscriptions, all the new subscribers, all of the new persons in the weed field, we are growing. Um, sharing is caring. So if you feel like somebody else would like this vibe, thank you so much. Because we're going to be persistent <laughs> and keep going because this is what we were called for. Yes. Anything else? Nope. Thank you guys again. To the next now. This is done. I'll